most people, when they start to work with customers, the one thing that they really hate, they really hate this concept of feedback. Because feedback is not like testimonials. Testimonials are pretty much nice, gushy things. And feedback tends to be very in your face. It's very like that. And it, it frustrates the heck out of you. It, it makes you feel like you've done everything you could and that the customer doesn't really appreciate it. And that's what, that's what feedback is. It's very jarring. It's very frustrating. And that's why most of us hate feedback. To get feedback, however, you have to create what is called a safe zone. People don't like to complain. They absolutely detest complaining. It's easier for them to just say, okay, we won't come back. We'll just go away. We, we won't buy from here again. We won't eat here again. We won't do whatever again. When they feel safe, however, they change their, the way they behave. What they tend to do is they say, hey, let's tell Sean or let's tell Calvin or let's tell whoever you are that there is a bug in the system. So you've got to create that safe zone. Once you understand how to create that safe zone, it makes it easier for a customer to respond. And, and of course, one of the easiest ways to create a safe zone is to create a device. So let's look at some of the devices that you could use to create safe zones. So some of the devices that we've used to create safe zones, one, one device we used very quickly or very early on our, um, on our website at Psychotactics, we used this thing called the bug. Now what was interesting about the bug was it was a little cartoon of a bug. And it didn't say complain, it didn't say give us feedback, it said uh, what bugs you? And not only did it say what bugs you, it also said that if you get, send in your bug, we'll give you a reward of $50. So not everyone got the reward, but once a month we give out a reward of $50. So that's it. We were actually creating a safe zone so that people could complain. So that was the first device. The second device that I tend to use often is just a phone call. So a customer will call up and say, hey, I, you know, I was not really sure about this stuff in 5000 BC. I joined 5000 BC and I was a little intimidated by what I saw there. So I'll pick up the phone. I'll say, you know, can we have a phone call? And it's amazing. A customer will sometimes speak to you for an hour and a half telling you all the things that are wrong with your system. And it's like having a, it's, it's like, you know, you could pay for stuff like that and not get such good advice from customers. So picking up the phone is a very simple way. You don't have to do it for all customers, but even a few customers. And then they start to engage. You start to engage with them, they start to engage with you. And when we've done workshops at Psychotactics, often I'll have a whole session where all the people are doing is just complaining. Uh, it may not sound like a great thing to be in, but if you're just sitting there and you're watching people complain, they do a really good job of it. And you sit there and you just take notes. You don't get in, you don't butt in, you don't become defensive, you just write it down. And that's really helped us go ahead. And these are little devices, and as you get customers more comfortable giving you their advice, they move into a safe zone, but you have to create that safe zone. So to just summarize, what you have to do is, A, create a little bug, for instance, on your website. That enables people who probably wouldn't get on the phone with you. Then make sure that you get on the phone with people who want to engage with you. And if you do get people into a workshop situation, into a group situation, let them come up with the ideas and you'll find that they'll come up with a lot of things that you can fix. You don't sit there and you judge it, you just sit there, put a tape on your mouth and take notes. And you will find that people step into a safe zone very quickly. When they get into that safe zone, it makes all the difference. The big mistake that lots of people make is they put up the form, they'll put a form and then you have to tick the form. Well, you don't really get substantial or good enough feedback from a form because people don't feel safe with the form. It's just another piece of paper. They've done it before. They know that they know that you probably won't even look at the form or you'll disregard the form. The engagement, the creating of the safe zone, that makes a difference. So the next time you want to get feedback and you want to get that brutal feedback and you really want to change your business, create a safe zone, create devices and get feedback that was going to change the way you do things forever. That's me, Sean D'Souza, signing off from Psychotactics. Bye for now.